Hello everyone, this is Derek and Betty and today's Advent verse is Isaiah chapter 44 verse 24. This is what the Lord says, your Redeemer who formed you in the womb. I am the Lord, the maker of all things, who stretches out the heavens, who spreads out the earth by myself. This is a verse from Isaiah one of the Old Testament books, because he was a prophet who lived uh, around 700 years before Christ. And like many of the prophets, uh, the the inspired words that he spoke um, uh, referred to the near future and also to the far future. So some of what he said applied to the nation of Israel and uh, the forthcoming events and how God would help them through future kings, uh, even up to 150 years ahead, uh, his prophecies, and others that told of something further away relating to a Redeemer who was going to come. So what is a Redeemer? Well, if you've got a little bit of Latin, you will know that the word redeem and redemption comes from a Latin word, meaning to buy back. By way of illustration, perhaps I can just mention um, from my youth and, and before that, uh, there before we had credit cards and so on, um, it was possible if you were short of cash to go to a shop called a pawn shop, that's P-A-W-N, not the other type, and you could take something of value And the shopkeeper there would lend you money based on the value of of the item. And that would tide you over for the month. And then later on, when things were a little bit easier for you, you could go back and pay the money that had been borrowed, plus a little bit of interest, and you would buy back, you would redeem the item that you'd left with the shopkeeper. And that's the idea of redemption, of buying back. So what's that in spiritual terms? Well, in spiritual terms, I don't know about whether you're like this, but each month I think, well, I'm a little bit short, not in terms of cash, but in terms of spiritual and moral standards. I've done things that have uh, let me down, things I'm not proud of. I've forgotten to do things I should have done. And uh, I think, well, maybe next month I'll do a little bit better. But the next month comes and it's the same, and the month after that, and the month after that. So I never quite attain the standards that I've set myself and that God has set for the way I should live my life. And the Bible calls that sin. But that's where God steps in, because he comes as a redeemer. He sent his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, into the world to come and redeem us so that when we feel we're short of what we need to offer to God, he says, I'll pay, I'll pay for you. And we know that uh, if we believe uh, that what he says is true, then it applies for us and uh, we can know a full and lasting relationship with our God. That's something to think about during Advent when we think of the word Redeemer. He's brought us back. He's brought back our soul to to himself through our Lord Jesus Christ. And Betty's now going to lead us in a final prayer. Dear Almighty Father, maker and creator of all the earth. We praise your holy name. You and you alone stretched out the heavens and made the earth, for which we give our praise and glory, Mm. for there is none like you. Mm. You sent your son, Jesus Christ, our redeemer. He paid the price on the cross so that all our sins will be forgiven. 
and so that one day we'll be able to join our Redeemer in heaven. Amen. Amen.